We're transferring animals out um, to other rescue groups um, in Kelowna, Victoria, Vancouver, um, because we just uh, can't deal with the large volumes of animals we have in this community. And it's not, it, you know, it it's, wasn't common for us to have to do that, is to look at other ways of moving animals out of this community. But we also had to say to ourselves, is if, if people don't have access to vet care, yeah. should we be adopting animals out in this community if they cannot get veterinarian? Right. And so, you know, that's why we've been looking at, you know, how do we solve this, those solutions, not just by transferring animals, but how do we solve those solutions by supporting the community to be able to tackle some of those issues? Yeah. And so, you know, we're, we're in the process of looking to build a, a new shelter facility. Um, but we're also looking at solutions on how to deal um, with a lack of access to vet care just within our own organization. Um, you know, we, we're, we're, we're on the waiting list too with the public to get appointments. We're, you know, we don't get anything sooner than anyone else. You know, so we're also waiting six months to get animals spayed and neutered. So we're also feeling the challenge that this community is feeling. And are, are those the same kind of problems that we have? Is the medical system as it applies to people? that yep. physicians are much more difficult to get appointments and the same pretty much applies to the veterinarians? Yeah, you know, we've, if kind of BC does have a veterinary crisis, but it's really impacted Prince George. Um, there is uh, no uh, veterinary um, emergency services from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. Um, in the morning. And, you know, I can, I can tell you a personal story that was quite... It was probably one of the most, it, it was probably a wake up moment for me on, we have to do something. It was when a, a lady came there and she had a, a, actually um, adopted a cat from us years back. And she came in and she was like, oh, I'm looking for a new cat. And I was like, oh, well, what happened to the cat that you adopted? And she said to me, Angela, she was, the tears were rolling down her face. And she was, my, her cat ended up falling ill and she was unable to get veterinary care and that animal died in her arms and you know that that was one of many stories that I've heard along the way where people's animals suffered because they couldn't have access to vet care.